Hi, I'm Steve Goodman, and on Practical 365, we're going to have a look at how we can get physical and bring IoT into Microsoft Teams and the Power Platform. In the first of these four videos, we're going to have a look at how we do it. What are the reasons why we do it? What hardware we need? How do we plug that into the cloud securely and safely? And how do we get that quickly and speedily into Teams? So part one, let's try and understand why. Why would we do this in the first place? Because that's the big question, isn't it? You know, what's the value going to be? And the first, the first core thing to remember is this isn't a, it's not usually a vanity project. It's got to have some bottom line. So we're doing this for a business or if it's a charity, a hospital, if it is a government department or something like that, then there's got to be some value that's that's got to be gained from doing this. Otherwise, there's just no point. And whilst it's not always about money, it usually is. It usually is. Now, there's lots of different applicable places where you can deploy this. So if we're having a look through some of these, then remember that it's got to fit into some sort of a business process. It might be a new process that, that's coming on board, new equipment, or that might be something driving it. But it could be that there's existing processes where when we're looking at the power platform as the solution for a lot of our problems, you know, digitizing paper based processes, then not everything is a form or an app that somebody has to go and fill in. And if it is collecting data, if it is collecting information that is somewhere in the physical world, it's a temperature or reading of some sort, then Sending somebody around to do that, recording that maybe at the moment on paper, even if they are recording it on a computer at the moment, often leads to costly mistakes. And those costly mistakes are where that, that bottom line comes in because many businesses will know that because things get missed, because things get forgotten, then it costs them a lot of money on a regular basis. So it gives you a baseline for when you're just thinking about generally those solutions that you have available and the problems that people have got, then you can pick some of the things that are going to provide the highest value because ultimately you, you want to have success. However, then the hard bit comes, and this is where the Teams and Power Platform come in because we want to thread that needle really through finding the right solution that's going to solve that business problem, it's going to be cost effective, and it's going to be something that the business can get some value from quickly. And a lot of those things, that, that's what we do if we're doing Teams and the Power Platform. It's a solution where when we put it together the right way, quite rapidly and roll it out, then people see the, the value quite quickly. Now, there's there's all sorts of different examples that you could go through. And health and safety is, you know, a core one where people will be doing checks on a regular basis. They have to do these things. Uh, and in many cases, if they're doing these things manually at the moment, then that's where those mistakes happen because it might be that they have to do them, but people forget. And there might be a, a penalty for that, or of course there might be an impact of it. If it is something where it is super, super critical, then you'll probably already have those things in place anyway. If it is something where somebody's life depends on it, then well, we're not going to feed that into the into teams and the power platform and do those actions. That's you know, that that's probably not the space to try and innovate in, but hospitality, retail some healthcare scenarios, logistics, transport, where there might already be sensor data, there might already be information being brought in, like fleet monitoring and things like that, where you can do more interesting things more quickly if you bring that data into Teams and the Power Platform, all the capabilities that's got and how close it brings it to people in the business. If instead of building a solution or buying a new solution that does clever things, you, you do that inside Teams and the Power Platform. But it does go down to things like facilities management. If you've deployed a desk booking system, it wouldn't be great if your facilities team then went and bought um, desk occupancy sensors and a whole solution around that. When you could have plugged that stuff into the Power Platform and Teams and you're probably your existing solution that you already had. And signage, all sorts of things that you can do in Teams. You could make and coordinate this stuff and then push that out to commodity hardware that already exists that can be connected in to Azure and you can effectively send that command with tools in the Power Platform like Power Automate, bring it off data, cycle it through that or collect information, staff satisfaction or customer satisfaction. You know, those things when you, you leave a, a business and you've got to tap a button to say whether or not you are happy 
all of that kind of data, whilst it might have it's a whole solution and industry built around providing very tactical, bespoke solutions that live in their own little world, then the end sensors, they, they may well plug straight into Azure and be certified with it and therefore can very, very quickly into Teams and the Power Platform where we can build stuff and we get the scalability, we get the ability to iterate quickly and we take advantage of the licensing that we've got inside Teams that gives us some Power Platform capabilities. And then if we're looking at that, you've got a, a first version of it, right? So that first version of that is Teams has Power Platform licensing built in. So a team of people, perhaps they are facilities team or they're an operations team and they get free access inside their team to the dataverse so you can bring that data in you might need the right connectors to bring that data across but then once you start to bring that data in baseline that data then whilst you could build and deploy custom solutions code things in azure then remember microsoft have built solutions commercial out of the box off the shelf stuff inside the Power Platform. That's what it is. It has solutions built on combinations of things in Azure for doing AI and predictive modeling, but making it accessible to the business, making it so that you can build those rules without coding. It's part of that solution. So it's not as if we need to go and buy a third party thing. We've got that third party thing. This is this is it. So our, our big why is one, to save money, two, to better improve business processes where there's a physical aspect to that where we can actually gain some some big value whether that is a safety aspect or whether that is money saving or combination of of things like that and then we can save money we can make this actually possible by using the value that we've already got using the licensing that you've already paid for for Microsoft Teams to do this stuff in a fairly industrial way as well you know it's not doing anything that your class is weird or unusual so that's the why now in part two let's have a look at the how